All right, let's use perfect squares to find the square root of 252. So you're going to need uh, a perfect squares table, something like this one, and then uh, your calculator. Um, and just to note, yes, my calculator will find the square root of 252 simplified, right? It will, oh, there we go. If I type it in right, it'll give it to me as a radical, which is different than most calculators. Most calculators will only give you the decimal form, which is not very helpful. We're going to figure out how to get to six square root of seven if you don't have this kind of calculator or if you're not allowed to use it for uh, whatever you're, you're doing. So the way that we're going to work through this is we're going to look at 252 and look at just the, the orange highlighted columns here. We're looking for uh, the biggest number that will divide by into 252 without a remainder. So in other words, 252 divided by, well, there's 256. So I know that our number somewhere in here. That tells me 252 is not a perfect square, right? Um, if it was, it would be on this list. These are the numbers squared. So 16 squared is 256, but 15 squared is 225. So it's, you know, it's somewhere between there and it doesn't work out perfectly. So I'm looking for something that 252 will divide by. Um, and I want the biggest number that it will divide by. So, I mean, we can use some, some good reasoning here for sure. 252 uh, divided by, you know, 196. That doesn't work. I get a decimal. I'm going to start going down 1.169. Nope. 252 divided by 144. Maybe that's it. Nope. That doesn't work. And so you see how I'm just dividing by the next numbers, right? Just keeping it super simple. 252 divided by 100 is not going to work. You can do that if you want to. Divide by 81. Nope. 64. Oh, okay. 49. Let's see if that works. No. 36. Hey, there we go. We finally got a perfect square in here. So what we're going to do is we're going to split this into the square root of 36 times the square root of 7 because we just found that 36 times 7 is 252, right? And so I know from this chart the square root of 36 is 6. So this is just 6. And for 7, I'm going to look over here, and I see that 7 is not on the chart. 7 does not divide by 4. That means that it will not simplify any further. 6 square root of 7 is my simplified version of the square root of 252. All right, watch another one. See if you can start to see the pattern of how these work. And uh, it's a great strategy if you do.